Hey, what's up guys? All right, so, so I just kind of want to show you where we're at with Nico we're going into the weekend here. Um, you look over here, we got a couple softball games going on. We got a lot of people around. And basically what I want to start doing is like, I've been working on the hill, she's pretty good at it. Obviously, she wants to go to the right side, so I'm getting her out of that, have her go on the left side. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through here and she doesn't need or even get to meet anybody. So what I want her to know right now where she's at in her progression is that wherever we go here, all she has to worry about is focus on me. I'm not gonna make her or let her meet anybody. So we're just gonna kind of be working through the crowd. So I wanna give you this little video so you can see how I do it uh, technique wise. So, so the key things to watch, I would say, watch her eye contact, watch where her focus is, and then watch where I'm going as we're going through here. So this video will probably be two, three, four minutes long. So it'll be a little boring, but, but I want you to just see what we do here. So if you want to follow me, you know. um, Now reading her body language wise, you can see she's a little bit tentative. Part of that is with me. Um, and part of it is like this situation. So going into the crowd, you can come a little bit closer. Yeah. So going into the crowd, she's, she's like, oh dear, this is gonna get real. Now where she goes ahead of me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this way. Come on, good and get her back. So she was a little far ahead and her focus was, heel. come on girl, good. Her focus was a little far ahead right there. Now, um, I am, I'm concerned about the body language, but what I see is that when I take her in this situation enough, she works through it. So, so even though it is concerning right now, as she desensitizes to this kind of stuff, and as she knows she doesn't have to meet anybody, When I'm pushing the button on the e collar I'll raise my hand for you guys so you can see it. So what we're seeing is a little bit of sensitivity with like the sound there and stuff. Because when she heard that air conditioning fan, she kind of like froze up and just got a little concerned about it. You don't really have to address this right on, but sometimes I'll just have them do a sit right around that just so they just so they're processing that that new stimulus, whatever it is. Feel?
All right, guys, so, so the progression is like this. So first of all, we want to get proper working relationship with the dog. Then we want to get good control over the dog. Once we have relationship and control, then we go into desensitization, which was, that's where we're taking them into public and getting them used to like sight, sound, smells, and people, and, and other dogs and stuff like that. So, so at this point right now, she's just, she did well with all of it. She's a little bit tense about being away from home still, but um, this is where we're at in the progression. So when she comes home to you, you'll kind of have to do that same thing where you have proper relationship, good control, and then control exposure to new environments. So hopefully that makes sense.